Hi guys, my name is Maria and I hope that you still remember me and I'm sorry for not making new videos today. I'm here to talk to you and I want to explain some levels for Forex, for crypto, for oil, for gold. So I want to help you with the trading decisions. Uh, look, Bitcoin fumbles to 18 month low as US inflation impact spreads. And this was a predictable situation due to the technical levels, due to technical reasons. If you go on monthly chart, guys, please take a look that the RSI, which is an indicator, it still goes down. Indicator RSI with a period 14 on a monthly chart, it's going down. But take a look that it's not a trend indicator. This is an oscillator that works in ranges. And I can't say you 400% that this is a range and you have to listen to RSI. But I pay attention to the RSI period 14 on monthly chart and also to RSI period 14 on weekly chart. And if you take a look on weekly chart, there is no doubt that price was in range. And right now it's falling down. Bitcoin cost 23,500, which means that price may go up to 18,800. Be ready for that. But, but before you think that it's all really bad situation, take a look, please, that RSI right now is being on a level of support. So this week may end it may end above 24,000 level. It may end up. And if it goes down today, tomorrow, and in like two, three days, it goes back up and we'll see shadow on the bottom part, this will be a really good sign for us to wait for long positions about Bitcoin. If you go through the charts, like daily chart, for example, and you see right now that price goes under the 25, 25th level of support, it means the 25,000 level of support. Yes, right now the price is under this level, but we can't say that they are under the level forever because we don't have the close price or of this candle of this day. There is no close price yet. And if the close price is being above 25,000 level, it doesn't mean that tomorrow it will go down again. It may go to retest this level of resistance, 25,250. You got to be ready for that. For example, today's chart is under 25,000, but tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, they may go back to test this level of resistance. And if they don't break it, they don't go above 25,300. This means that we'll have an entry point for short positions and then our forecast with short positions up to 18,800, 18,600 will be the real one. But if today, tomorrow, we see that this is a fake break and price will go above 25,000, we might have a good sign to Bitcoin, for, for Bitcoin to go up. I don't say that one scenario will happen or another one, but I'm just showing you technical picture as I usually did on this channel. I hope that it will help you to earn some money and to make right trading decisions. For Ethereum, please take a look on technical picture and our target goes to 1076. So 1,076 is a technical picture, technical level that may happen today or tomorrow. If you take a look on weekly chart, they broke the 200 moving average. Uh, I'm sorry for not making videos for you for a long time, but with my Russian speaking traders, I, I told them about those levels of support. About the monthly chart, look, a really good level of Support is around 1050, 1070. It's over here. It's a technical level of support. If they break it, they will go down to 720 level. Okay? But right now, the level of support, which is good from technical side, is 1050, 1070. Use it, please. So, yes, tomorrow Ethereum and Bitcoin and others are going down due to inflation in the United States and this is something that we are going to watch for a future couple of days but if tendency changed if something happens that will change this uh, will this fall I think that we are really close to good technical supports where we'll see a strong buyer but only if we get some strong news. Let's take a look on brand, oil brand. Right now the price is $120 per barrel 
and it does not mean that we have to open short positions. In my Telegram channel, I will leave a link to this uh, Telegram channel below. So in my Telegram channel, I told you that our target goes to 122, 124, and 125th level, but they did not give me profit over here near 125th level and I don't close all my long positions because right now price is sitting on 200 moving average on one hour chart and this is still a tricky moment if they break the 118 level of support it means that we will have a lower short positions will have short positions and price will go lower but right now this is not a sign for short positions they may they may test this level of support 118 level. They may test it, but they don't have to break it. The whole tendency, I well, just just a moment. One, two, three. Take a look at my targets. <laughs> the whole tendency goes up to 125, and after they break 125 level, they will go up to 150 level. And there are many forecasts from different banks that say that price may go that high. I don't support those ideas right now with some economical researches or with some theoretical things. I'm just showing you a technical picture as I usually did. This is just a technical picture and the technical level of resistance is around 125 still on a weekly chart and monthly chart and weekly chart and daily chart everywhere. But if they break this level of resistance, they'll go over here to 150 level. So on a weekly chart, we don't see any sign of for us to, to, to sell this instrument. If you go to daily chart, there is no sign to sell this instrument as well. About gold, um, I'm, not, I'm sorry, but I don't support the idea about long positions. Still, I think that um, there is an opportunity for price to go lower. And if you ask me about the technical support, it's around 1,680. Still, still there is no long position sign. I hope that you are not the one who is listening to some signals and you want to earn money right now, but if you are a trader, if you are trying to become a trader, you have to understand that here is some long-term term opportunity, here is some short-term opportunity, and right now for a weekly chart, maybe it will happen this week, maybe it will happen in two weeks or five weeks, but the technical opportunity right now for this instrument is to go down to 1670, 1680 to this area. If you go to monthly chart, there is no good sign to, to trade right now. If you go to daily chart, you can see that they can't break the level of resistance and here is still an opportunity to go down, but only after they start to show lower prices, lower extremes. Right now there is no such sign. So what am I waiting for? I'm waiting for, I would say, uh, for them to break the level of support, which is really important, and it's around 1810. If we are talking about opportunity for June, for July, after they break the support, 1810, it's okay to go with short positions. But if we discuss opportunity for a future couple of days, after they break this level of resistance, 1,880, after they break it, they may go up to 1,920. So there is a big difference between your opportunities to trade intraday, intraweek, and for long-term positions. Technically, for long-term positions, I think still think that they may go lower. But intra this week, Intro this month, they may break the level of resistance 1880 and after that they will go up to 1920. I hope you understand it and I hope you will earn money on it. Also, I would like to discuss the silver prices opportunity because due to the weekly chart, I'm waiting price to go down to 18 level. $18 level for silver. This is something that I'm waiting for. Right now, price is sitting on a level of support, which is important, let me show you, which is important from the beginning of 2020, which is important also from like 2013, 2014, 2015, it's, it's, it's really important for many, many years. And right now, it's been on 200 moving average on weekly chart. 
So after they break it and go under 200 moving average, they will go down to 18 level. If they break or when they break, after that we sell. So my technical idea is that I'm going to be ready to sell under 21.30. I need price to break this level of support. After that, I sell with the target 18. And I would like you to remember this level of support. 21.30. I think this will bring you some money. And after that, you'll say like, oh, thank you very much. And you'll join my trading community, guys. I wish you huge profits, but only with the smart steps. Don't enter just like right now. You have to see the break of level of support. You can see how they didn't break it last week. So after they break this level of support, they will easily go down. I hope you will wait until this moment and you will earn money there. Uh, well, also about the euro, there are many traders who say something like, oh, it's time to buy euro. Oh, yes, it's so low. It's so cheap. You have to buy it. No, you don't. No, because this is not the right moment for you to buy the euro. Technically, price may go down below 1%. 0.0000. Your dollar may go down to 0.99 level. And this is not a prediction. This is not a forecast. This is, this is nothing like I'm telling you this will happen. This is just a technical picture. And technical picture isn't good. So I would like you to think about an opportunity for price to go that low. So if you buy right now and you think that this is the right moment, be aware that price may go even lower and this may bring you losers to lose money. I hope you won't. So that's why I'm here. I'm here to help you. And if it's all good, if my plans are all okay, I'm, come, I, I'm coming back here for you to make daily videos, maybe like 30 minutes videos, 15 minutes videos, but with a daily update about what I do, what I see the price to go to, and I hope it will help you. Uh, usually I trade euro, I trade uh, Great Britain pound, I trade crosses, I trade uh, different currencies. Also, I trade gold, silver, and brand. Others, like stocks, indexes, I also trade, but mostly I talk about Forex here. If it suits you, you're welcome to stay here and listen to my ideas. I trade for like 13 years, I think. And yeah, here is a huge story about me, but I'm not going to tell you right now. Right now, I just want to tell you about the forex, about the forecast. So right now, there is no buy signal for euro. And I want you to realize that there are lower price. Here is a lower price that may appear. And this is something that you have to be aware of because there are many fake ideas on the market from not traders, but people who just want to talk about market, talk about Forex. So they are like, oh, you have to buy it. You have to buy only when you have a signal. This is the number one rule. Only when you have a signal. And if you don't have a signal, how do you trade? So you have to trade only when you have a signals. When you have signals. Okay, uh, so if you're interested in anything else, you're welcome to ask me about it because I have many forecasts, I have many trading ideas, and I'm really glad to share it with you. Now, for example, I can uh, share with you an idea about United States dollar with the Canadian dollar. Well, um, after the break, 1.29 level on daily chart, so it means that the close price will be above 129 and the next day will not go under this level. You are welcome to buy this currency pair with the target 1.33, 1.34. Look here. I just showed you a technical picture. Let's go back to the history. Wow. Wow. How do they do it? It's a miracle. You see? Level of resistance. Level of resistance. Level of resistance. Level of support. Level of support. Level of resistance. And right now, after they break 129 level, they may go here and this will become a level of resistance again. So this is just the technical picture that I show you from day to day. And I hope I'm going to have a lot of time for you on a daily basis just to share what I see and to share what I trade like. I hope, guys, that this is enough for you to press thumbs up under the video. 
and to join my channel and to share this channel with your traders. I would really appreciate it. If you want me to come here on a daily basis, please share my channel with the traders and it will have me more power to come back to you and to stay with you for a long time. I wish you profit, guys. Bye-bye.